What is going on everybody? Welcome to part 7 of our Intermediate Python Programming Tutorial Series. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about the built-in function enumerate. So, what enumerate is going to do is it's going to return a tuple containing the, basically the count along the way and then the object itself or the item itself that you were iterating over. So, you use enumerate on an iterable. So, where's my mouse? First, let's say, uh, we're just going to say an example equals uh, left, right, up, and down. And what we're going to say is we'll just do, uh, we'll do for i in range len example print i example i so this is an example of code that you might find yourself writing to produce the following like basically anytime you find yourself or i would say most of the time i'm trying to think of an example where i've not been screwing up when I do this, but pretty much any time you're going to say for i in range of a length of something, you're probably doing it wrong. <laughs> okay, so just keep that in mind. I've done it probably. No, I know I've done it in some of the tutorials for sure. Um, just because like I just never use enumerate. I just don't think about it. But lately in my own code, I've been trying to use enumerate just because it exists and you should do it. So anyways, this is not the right way to go about it. Instead, what you should say is something like this. For i, j, in enumerate example print i, j. Um, I'll print the other one just to do it, I guess. But as you can see, this one ended here, or this is the first one. This is the second one. Exact same output, just a little cleaner um, it makes a little bit more sense. It's the way it's supposed to be. You're also not doing like this range len nonsense. You just don't need to, uh, so don't do it. So that's one example of enumerate. For most people, that's probably all you need to do. Uh, you can use enumerate over a dictionary and a lot of other iterables. I would show you a dictionary. You can go to the sample code if you really want to see it, but it's basically the exact same thing as we just did here, and I just don't want to make a dictionary. But I will also show that you can easily, because we have tuple, what can you do with basically lists of tuples? You can do the following. You can say new dictionary, we're going to build a dictionary, equals dict enumerate, um, and then we'll enumerate the example. And now let's print new dict. There we go. So basically, in this case, we've created a dictionary where the key is that index value of enumerate, and then the value is the thing that was in the list. Now, of course, since I, a second ago I just told you I didn't want to make a dictionary, well, look at that. We got a dictionary. So we could just do this. We'll do list comprehension, print i, j, k, or j, k, that's fine, <laughs> for, um, let's see, print i, j, k, for i, j, in enumerate new dict. So here, we just get 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, because that is our dictionary, was the keys were just 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. So that was just not, you're probably never going to enumerate over a dictionary that uh, has keys like that. Uh, but just showing that you can do it over a dictionary if you so chose. So that's all on enumerate. It's just a really simple um, addition to the Python standard library, something useful, mostly for when you find yourself in this case. This is just always when you would use enumerate for the most part. I'm sure there's lots of other times you might use it or things that you, in tasks that you might do. But for the most part, this is when I found myself doing what I should have been doing enumerate. So, uh, in the next tutorial, we're going to be talking about the zip function, but if you do have any questions, comments, concerns on enumerate, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial.